Yellow spinner! So, under my previous video tutorial for Twisted Cobra Bite, I got a question from CarQuest. What are some good tricks to combo with after a Twisted Cobra Bite pen spinning trick? Okay, I already got some reply. Nice. That's a good question and I want to ask you as well. Write in the comment which tricks do you think will be a good follow-up to Cobra Bite, also known as Swivel Reverse. Maybe the ones you already can link or the ones you think would fit in nicely and originally. In today's video, I will show you my four tricks to follow Cobra Bite. Two of them I've been already doing for a while, link them once I got Swivel Reverse, and two I just came up with it after receiving CarQuest's question. I will place these links in order from easier to harder, and you try to guess which ones I had in my mind in first place and which ones I created for you, spinners. I will pin a comment with the right guess. And the first link will be with your trick to go in any uncertain situation, fingerless thumb around reverse bro. I mean, at the end of Cobra Bite we catch Penmod in a classical position to start in this trick. So when you make Cobra Bite your aim is to let Penmod slide at higher point, when it falls down from back of Pinky. You need this to catch Penmod with the most of weight pointing up, because that's the right position for fingerless thumb around, right? So for that you can raise hand higher while pen slides down and don't hurry to catch it, let it slide a little bit further. And when you catch it like this, here you go, linking it is going to be a piece of cake. Clean execution will look somewhat like this when you don't grab pen in fist, but like hang it in a, on the middle for a moment. And uh, you can loop this link. It will be really easy if you already can connect fingerless thumb around reverse with index back. If you can't, I will definitely recommend you to go and watch how to do tornado reverse, a life-changing knowledge. Second link will be slightly more difficult, but looks smooth and is extremely useful. Being able to make this link will open gates to great variety of different rings to link to Cobra Bite. I will show you how to link it with a Demon Sonic, but of course you can use this concept to learn a link with many other tricks starting from slot 3-4 or any another slot. Probably it wouldn't be swivel reverse anymore in this case. Anyway, when I make Cobra Bite, I curve pinky, so when pen goes from top of hand to its palm, it drops off back of middle finger, not pinky. And when I turn hand in Cobra movement, it is already in 3-4 and has enough inertia even for Demon Sonic. You can practice this trick from this position when palm is pointing out. When you turn hand, you will see how it gets in needed inertia for a next trick. But when you make this trick, don't just catch it with 3-4 too early when it is on top of hand, otherwise it will be just a link with the shadow trick. No, wait till more begins to fall off middle's back and only at that approximate point grab it in 3-4. The third link. We will make vertical swivel after swivel reverse. Well, that's not exact swivel, I guess. Not complete, at least. Make sure that you can do this trick like this, vertically. Shouldn't be a huge deal if you already know how to do swivel. Practicing will take you about 30 minutes, give or take. And after you're confident with it, try to practice Cobra Bite, catching pen mod with most of weight down. It is opposite to the first link, will be more difficult, as now we need to make the trick with the most of weight on top of hand. So we switch grab by turning hand fully upside down under a pen mod and while practicing you will see that most of the time you will catch pen mod with most of weight pointing up, which will be more convenient to make fingerless thumb around reverse than for swivel. But as soon as you do catch it right, you can practice and master a really nice looking link. Just after catching mod in fist, move hand towards to yourself to make it turn over hand. Okay, the fourth, one of the most interesting out of all today's links. It will be Cobra Bite to Cobra Bite. Double twisted Cobra Bite. Here I do one trick and after catching mod, lead it to another index back for another trick. When I catch pen mod after the first trick, I land it mostly on two and three. One is a bit away and a bit curved. Then like throw mod a little bit, hook it with index finger and when I hook it, like stop it with index finger, my palm is pointing up. So after I stop it with index finger, I turn hand palm down and make index back.
will be beneficial to catch pen mode on 2 and 3 at center, so index will be closer to the cap. But if you catch it not that nicely, you can still fix the position by this little throw-in. Clean execution will require you to make it without any throw-ins at all, though. When I catch pen mode after Cobra Bite, I move 2 and 3 away and like under a pen mode. Meanwhile, I keep it in hook with the index finger so it wouldn't fall. It looks complicated, but movement and inertia will help you. I don't think that you should practice this clean execution before you master the nasty one. But once you will be able to do that, you can do Cobra Bite continuously. Isn't that awesome? I have other tutorials for advanced links, gather them in a separate playlist, we'll leave a link to it in the description, so you could check it out after you've mastered all of today's ones. Have fun learning your new links and tricks, cheers!